Hey guys, what is up? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whenever you're watching this. I am super, super excited to bring you guys this video. I have a lot to tell you guys, a lot to update you guys on, and a lot to share. Obviously, this is a weight loss update, but I feel like this is also kind of like a life update because I just want to update you guys a little bit on what's going on in my personal life because it's huge. My dog lost a tooth! He lost a little baby tooth! He was chewing on his bone! And he lost a little baby tooth! I'm gonna cry, first of all, okay. So Tanner is losing baby teeth, let's start there. So he's teething, so that's been fun. I need to tell you guys something super, super exciting. And if you are on my Instagram, then you already know what it is. Drum roll, please. I am in school to become a certified personal trainer. I signed up for classes literally last night. So the day I'm filming this is December 29th. And you guys are going to get this as soon as I get it edited and uploaded. So on my four month anniversary of having gastric bypass, which is the 28th, signed up for school to become a certified personal trainer. I am so, so excited. It's a go at your own pace program, but I'm gonna try and get it done in that 10 to 12 week mark, um, just because I, I really think I need to. This is something that I'm very, very scared to do and scared to talk about, but I personally think this is something that I will be great at. So along with that, I've also said on my Instagram a couple times that I also want to become a registered dietitian and it's not even because I want to work in a facility or I want to work in a hospital or anything like that. It's because I want to do this online and help as many people as I can online. And I know with me having the surgery and having the background in being obese, overweight, whatever you want to call it for as long as I have been, gives me so much knowledge on what it's like and what the struggles are like. So I feel like that sets me apart from a lot of personal trainers and in the future, it's going to be way in the future, registered dietitians. That's where we're at. So I actually got a call today on December 29th from the school saying, hey, just to let you know, you're all registered, everything's ready to go. Your book will be here in about a week and you can go ahead and get started. So in about a week, I will be starting my first class and everything and getting ready to go with that. So along with that, I will let you guys know what I come up with with like programs and stuff like that because I definitely want to do this online and I want to help you guys. You guys are the reason that I'm pushing myself to do this because I have so many people reaching out to me that I want to make sure that I'm qualified for this stuff. So thank you guys for that. I never saw myself going back to school for anything, but this is something that I just have to do. I can't pass it up. So that's the big news. Also, I ordered a MacBook last night, so my, my bank account is screaming and she's a little mad at me, but it's okay, we'll get through it. So with that being said, you know, obviously I have a really big bill from going to school and I have a bill from getting my MacBook. So expect some Instacart videos to come. Not only that, those are going to help me with getting in some more steps throughout the day and kind of keep me busy and really help me along my weight loss journey. So expect those videos to come in the near future. But let's go ahead and talk about me now, like a little bit more into detail. Okay, so I'm going to pop up these pictures right here. You guys see that I'm wearing the dress. Um, I have lost 67 pounds. That sounds right, 67. I've lost 68, my bad. So I went from 334 the day of surgery to now 266. And I'm gonna be very honest, the last month was a bit of a struggle. Uh, I got an espresso, we're gonna start with that. And I, I was in a little bit of a, I don't wanna say a calorie surplus because I didn't gain weight, but I didn't lose weight. And this definitely wasn't a stall. Like, I know the difference between hitting a stall and, like, literally just taking in too many calories to the point where your body's not losing weight. So, I got a, an espresso, and I was using too much creamer. Calories and creamer add up fast. 
So when I figured out the problem quickly, I started measuring out my creamer and started using actual milk that has protein in it. I use Fairlife milk because it sits best with my stomach. But I started doing that and suddenly I'm losing weight again. And I know a lot of people say don't drink your calories, whatever. This is the one that I cannot stop drinking and I won't stop drinking coffee. Sorry, it's not happening. I did find alternatives and I did find ways to cut the calories to make sure that there's not a lot of sugar in it and stuff like that. So we're all good there. I figured that out. That's literally the only place that I get calories from like in liquids. Um, other than that, I'm drinking water, I'm drinking like zero sugar Kool-Aid or zero sugar um, Minute Maid drinks or whatever, but I drank a ton of water, so we're all good there. We fixed that issue. <sighs> it feels so good to get that off my chest. Like, I just feel like I needed to tell somebody about that because it stressed me out, okay? I was like, why the fuck am I not losing weight and come to find out it had to do with my creamer addiction. So as far as food goes, um, I still really can't eat fried foods. Uh, I really haven't tried, if I'm being honest here. I just don't feel the need to, you know? I am eating, I don't want to say super clean, but I'm eating a lot of healthy stuff, so I don't feel the need to go out and buy fried foods. If I eat out, I'm eating like chicken or I'm eating like for example, my family got Subway yesterday for like lunch. I got this thing called a protein bowl, which was, it's basically a salad, but there's more protein that they put on it, I guess. And there was like four scoops of tuna on this thing. I am not kidding when I say that this thing has lasted me five different meals. I had this thing for lunch, dinner. I had a, like a couple bites of it when I was putting it in a container. And I had it for breakfast and lunch today. And there were still more. So eating out for me looks totally different than it did before and I've talked about that a little bit. I even put like a little TikTok up of like eating at Chipotle and stuff like that. Obviously not the rice. Eating out's way different for me. A lot of the times I will share with my mom. I would say like 95% of the time me and my mom will share whatever it is we get and we still end up taking home leftovers. So we don't really bother with eating out a lot uh, just because we feel like it's a waste and you know we don't know what they're putting in certain stuff so we don't know if there's like full fat mayonnaise and there probably is um like butter and stuff like that and i will say this mayonnaise has finally freaking finally stopped making me sick so i was able to eat the tuna salad with no issues and i actually had um like i made like a little cheese thing with lunch meat in it and put a little bit of light mayo in that and I was completely fine. Mayonnaise is not an issue for me anymore. However, I still am not trying to put a lot, you know what I mean? So I do want to go into some non-scale victories. One of my biggest non-scale victories, um, I would say in the past two months, one of my biggest non-scale victories that I would say in the past two months has been the way that I fit in my tub has been so, so different. Like, I wish I could share those pictures with you guys because obviously I'm not going to do that. Maybe I'll start an OnlyFans. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Fit in my bathtub so much easier. And I am able to just like get in and out and I don't feel like I am like sucked to the bathtub anymore like I can sit up like it's so weird how losing around like 65 pounds 66 or whatever I think it said 68 so around 70 pounds has changed my life dramatically in ways that I didn't even realize that we're going to so being able to fit into a bathtub nicely now I'm not 100% there yet but we're not gonna like degrade ourselves we're gonna give ourselves credit for the progress that we have made also this one's TMI but my period was so much lighter this month I struggle with PCOS which is polycystic ovarian syndrome and heavy periods are something that comes with that for most people however this month it was not and I will say since having surgery I have had my period consecutively every single month since having surgery and a question came up in one of my recent Q&A's asking me if I was 
going to have kids and my honest answer was I don't know because I don't know if I'm able to have them and that was because I wasn't getting my period frequently. Um, I was, I had an irregular period and that was something that was really scary. So now that I'm getting it every month, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that was just in my head, that fear is just in my head and maybe I will be able to have kids, maybe I won't. I don't even have a boyfriend yet so I don't know why we're thinking about that. But anyways, so my periods are lighter. So this goes back to the whole like eating out thing. My family spends way less on eating out. <laughs> like way less. Me and my mom can eat somewhere for five dollars. Both of us together. Like not just one, both of us. So one thing that happened to me over Christmas, I almost said Christmas break, but over Christmas was I did not feel obligated to eat the sweets and all the goodies. Like me and my best friend made sugar cookies and chocolate chip cookies and you know all these different types of sweets and I didn't really eat them. I had like a couple bites of the sugar cookies and I say bites because I would like take a bite of one cookie and then I would put it down and be done. And then like another time would come and I would take one bite and like I would be done. That has never happened to me I think in my entire life. Period. Like there has never been a time that I can remember where I was able to take a bite of a cookie or a bite of whatever and put it down and be completely satiated with whatever it is. And I also got these new, these things called dive bars that I didn't like at first, but when I kept eating it, it's really good. It's like a protein cookie and like they have protein brownies and stuff like that. And it was good. So that will help me with my sweet tooth because I still have one after surgery and I know for some people like that doesn't happen. Unfortunately for me, I still have a sweet tooth. So I just gotta figure out healthy alternatives to go with that. But not feeling like I have to finish a cookie or feel like I'm obligated to eat everything on my plate, that has been one of the biggest reliefs that I have gone through with this whole experience. And like my parents never forced me to eat everything that was on my plate so I don't even know where that came from. But whatever I don't feel it anymore like if I'm done I'm done so my whole mentality has shifted um, with like everything going on around me so that's been interesting um, mentally I am doing better than I was the second month that was probably the hardest month that I have gone through uh, was month two there's a lot of restriction with month two and being so fresh out of surgery and unfortunately there's nothing you can do about that like you just kind of have to go through it and I wasn't prepared for that and I didn't know that that process was going to be like that. Me and my mom actually had a conversation about this. She kind of hid like the really hard parts from me because she didn't want me to back out. And I really appreciate that from her but I feel bad because she had to hide that from me. You know what I mean? And I refuse to hide the really hard parts from anybody. I want you guys to know what you're getting yourself into and the mental struggle is ridiculous after surgery. Like it is mentally draining and that's unfortunate but it is. So some other things that happened this month, um, I had a doctor's appointment on Christmas Eve and we looked at my A1C, we looked at all my tests and everything and everything is coming back amazing. My A1C has gone from a 12.9 to a 5.8. Yeah. Yeah, I said a 5.8. I am almost to the stage where I wouldn't even be considered, if I didn't have diabetes, wouldn't be considered that I have it. So I'm putting my diabetes in remission. Unfortunately, with diabetes, you never get rid of it. Um, it's something that you have for the rest of your life. And the only thing you can do is put it in remission. So that's what I'm doing. I'm putting that bitch in her place and doing what I can for it. So all my tests came back amazing. Everything is looking good. I did have a little bit of a scare with my liver, but so far we're good. We're going to check back with that in six months to make sure that we, we don't have non-alcoholic fatty liver because that was something that I had in the past. I thought I got rid of it and I thought I corrected it but I don't know if I did. However, all the tests are showing that there's nothing to worry about. And especially with me losing more weight, I shouldn't have to worry about that in the future either. 
um, I did go see a liver specialist and he was just kind of like you know just keep doing what you're doing and we should be good so you know he said that there's nothing to worry about and none of my tests like came back saying that that's what's going on so we just think it was a false reading so all my good tests are going up my vitamin d went up um everything like that is going up i'm taking vitamins every day so it, I, it should and then all the bad ones went down so as far as like inches lost you know i don't know how many inches i've lost because i didn't take my measurements however my clothing range has really opened up so in certain clothes i can wear a large to an extra large and then in other clothes I'm a 2x and a 1x like I'm all over the place with my clothing range but it's not in the 3x 4x anymore and really the 2x it's really I don't really look in the 2x's either anymore so if I'm anywhere I'm looking I'm usually in the large to the 1x area um, because women's clothing is completely rude and that's just how it is as far as pants go You guys know my body shape is kind of like this brush my Bottoms I can fit into some smalls and I can go all the way up to an extra large However, anything above an extra large isn't gonna fit me. It's too big So and that's for like everything, but I'm normally in like a medium to a large That's where I'm finding the most comfort However, I still like to wear like baggier clothes and it's, that's just my own insecurity. So my pant size can range from a 12 to an 18, but like on the very low end of the 18. I'm almost completely out of that in certain sizes. Now, I would say that I fit comfortably in a 14, but it just depends on the brand, it depends on where you get it from, you know, women's clothing. So. Finding shoes has also been a totally different experience for me too because the only shoes that I could really go with beforehand were shoes that were made with wide foot. So if I did like, I don't know, my shoe size is nine and a half. Let's say, so I usually had to get a nine and a half wide. I don't have to do that anymore. I can find shoes that are nine and a half that fit. So that is a really interesting uh, non-skill victory for me because it's not one that I was expecting, especially so soon. So I recently got some new shoes and I'm very excited about them because they're shoes I've never owned before. Now, if you're anything like me, you know like Vans were like the shoes, and maybe it still are the shoes to wear if you're plus size. However, these types of Vans, I could not get my foot into simply because of this little piece right here. Um, it stretches a little bit, but I just couldn't do it because it really hurt my feet because of the, I don't know, I, I don't know, I couldn't do it. So this is my first pair of shoes like this, and I'm so, so, so excited. So yeah, losing weight in my feet was not one that I was prepared for, but it's one I'm here for, you know. So that is pretty much everything that I can think of at the moment. Definitely follow me on Instagram because that's where I share a lot of my struggles and a lot of things that I'm thinking. I can share a little bit on TikTok, but I feel like I share the most on Instagram just because I can write more. So that's all I got for you guys today. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So thank you guys so much for an amazing year. We have so much coming for 2021 and I'm so excited for this upcoming year. I don't know what it's gonna hold. I hope you guys join me. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also make sure you hit that little notification bell so you never miss an upload with me. I love you so, so much and I will be here tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. <laughs>